Hi guys, this is Mike with Century Security Systems Incorporated, and in today's video I'd like to take a look at updating the GeoVision software. Updating the software is necessary um, when you're adding new IP cameras. A lot of times the IP camera will have a new firmware and that firmware will require a minimum version of the software and if you don't meet that minimum version then you'll get an error. Also sometimes they've added new features that you may want to use or take advantage of and to do that you'll need the latest version of the software. So the first thing that we need to do is exit out of the GeoVision software. To do that we're going to click in the lower left hand corner on the power button and go to exit. Now, if we look down here in the lower right hand corner at our icons, if you see this icon here with the satellite dish, you do need to close that one as well. Double click on that to open it and press the stop button. Now if we take a look down there, you'll see that icon is gone. Now you'll notice on my desktop, I have the current version of software as well as the new version of the software. The reason you want to make sure you have the current version of the software is just in case your system can't handle the new version. Um, you may have a camera with an older firmware and the new version will require new, uh, a newer firmware and you may not have that firmware to update. In that case, you would have to revert back to it. So we do recommend that you have a copy of your previous version that you know that was working before you uh, start with this. Once that's done, before we uninstall anything, the next thing we want to do is back up our settings. So if you go under your applications, find your GeoVision folder and the Fast Backup and Restore program. Enter your username and password and press OK. Just to make a note there, all of our DVRs will come with the username of admin and the password will be blank. Once you're in the Fast Backup and Restore program, click on Backup Multicam Settings and then Backup Current System. Click the arrow. Now it's going to ask you to save it into a folder that you need to delete after you've uninstalled the software. So you have to make sure that you change this folder. So I'm going to put it on the desktop and I'll call it July 18th Backup. So this backup file contains all of our system settings, the IP cameras that we've added, motion settings, all of that sort of stuff, all in one file. So we're going to go ahead and save that and click OK. Now that we've done that, I'm going to exit out of here. I will go to Programs and Features and I will find the GeoVision software in the list and click on Uninstall. Click Yes and allow the, the uninstall to complete. Once that's done, press Finish. Now the next thing that we're going to do is go to this PC or my computer if you're using Windows 7 select our C drive, the GeoVision folder, and we're going to go ahead and delete that folder. Now using this method to uninstall it, you should not lose your GeoVision settings, so you don't necessarily need to do the backup, but we do recommend that you do the backup just in case. You don't want to have to go through completely setting everything up again from scratch. The other thing we have here is a link to the GeoVision website. I'm going to go to the GeoVision website for a moment here. Under Downloads and Software, I'm going to go to the Video Management Software and select the GV DVR NVR. And what you're going to have here from GeoVision is the IP camera patch file. Now I've already got that downloaded on my website and what this contains is patch files for all of the, dif the different GeoVision software. These patch files will be required for newer IP cameras that may have come out after that version of the software was released. If you don't have those patch files, the cameras will not work. 
Okay, you'll know that they're not working because when you go to, to set the position of the camera, you'll get a limited by USB key error message. If it's a genuine camera, that means that you need the patch. Okay, so I've got 8.62 ready to go. So I'm gonna select that, go to DVR, and run the setup file. Now you want to make sure that you match the card that is in your system. If you don't have an analog card, then you'll select GVNVR. If you do have an analog card, pay special attention to the letters at the end. You'll notice there's a GV800B and a regular GV800. It does matter. If you have a GV800, it will not work if you select 800B. You will get an error. Okay, so it's critical that you get that right. We, I have the NVR, I don't have an analog card on this system, so I'm going to go ahead and select that and press next. Now, this screen is asking you to select your panel resolution. I recommend that you go ahead and select 1920 by 1080. This is not necessarily the panel resolution that it's, the software will use, but the maximum resolution that it will use. That's why I recommend that you go ahead and select the largest one. If you were to do this on a monitor that did not support 1080p resolution, it would select the next lowest. So I'm going to click next. Now right here you need to make sure that you click add to the startup and press next. Next again, next again, and finally install. Once the installation is complete, you will get a message on the screen saying install complete and asking you to reboot your computer. Once your computer is restarted, you should be prompted with this screen right here. We, we did say in the installation options to have GeoVision load on startup, so this is what should appear. We're going to go ahead and click OK, and then we're going to exit back out of the software. Once it's exited out, if you double click on the backup file, enter your username and password, and select the top option, Restore Multicam System or Restore Defaults, and then select Restore Backup Settings, click the arrow, click yes and click OK and what that does is it imports all of your settings back into the software. Now that that's done we can load the software back up Now that the software is loaded back up we're just going to verify that we've got the correct version on here so if we go to tools version information we can see that we now have 8.62 and you're going to want to double check your settings just to make sure that they are how you left them at this point you can go ahead and exit out of the software and the last thing that we need to do is apply the patch so we're going to find the folder that we downloaded and you want to make sure you select the GB DVR NVR folder and first we'll get the files for Windows we'll copy those we'll go to our C drive Windows folder right click and paste saying replace files and destination if you do not get the prompt to replace the files then you're pasting them into the wrong location you should get that each time the next thing we're going to do is look for the GVNVR folder and we'll go back to our patch files here and we'll copy the files out of here into the GeoVision folder. Once that's done, your software upgrade is now complete.